the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. We got the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So I'm picking up with this Ten of Swords coming up for June. You could have some trust issues with someone. Yeah, that's what this is all about. You see how these swords are all stabbed in your back? So, it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when this 10 comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Now it's with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is just short of one cup. Ten is the tops. So Nine of Cups is beautiful for you. Beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. It's about happiness, good things to come. It can also mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, Nine of Cups and Ten of Swords. So you're not trusting some type of situation or a person. So, you could feel like the situation is ruined you feel defeated or you feel like something has failed but with the nine of cups here you could be wishing for a lot of great things you could be wishing for something I know that's kind of vague. You're, you're wishing here because it's a wish card, but then you got trust issues. So we're going to leave it at that for now. We'll come back to these two cards because we need to take a look at the rest of the reading because it's pretty vague, I know. Yeah, so let's put these two to the side and come right back to them at the end of the reading. So the person you're dealing with, they see you as a hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Now the Hierophant is an interesting card. You could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called up for advice or some important issues or matters. Their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this is how they see you, Aries. They probably find that you're quick-witted, maybe you're well-educated, a wise teacher, marked by integrity. Um, they see you as a genuine article, the real deal, a true blue, highly admired individual. They see you walking the walk and talking the talk and stand firm in your beliefs and convictions. So... You could, they could see you as very moral, maybe traditional. You, you don't stand for anything. Put it that way. If, if everything I said was not you, then just take it as they don't see you standing for anything. Yeah. You know what they say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So they see you not being like that. You don't stand for anything you got your you set your grounds and you you go you know what's what what's right and what's wrong and you go by that and you walk the walk and you talk the talk when i was with the ten of cups ten of cups is one of the most um another one of the most up, well it is the most uplifting card in the tarot ten is not short of any cups so it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. 
It's a very good card to get in a reading. It points to happiness with the family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you are, consult, are concerned most about, such as your parents, siblings, children, and pets, much more. Also being spiritually fulfilled could be a part of the picture here. Great card to get in a reading, regardless of any question. So, they see you like this Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. They like that you don't stand for anything. And they also see you as a dream come true. That's what the Ten of Cups is about. Yep. Dream come true. So, let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. You see them as a lover's card. No, that's not the lover's. That's a two of cups. I'm sorry. I get those confused sometimes because they, they are two. And it looks like love. So, I get them mixed up. But that's a two of cups there. And it's with the world card for how you see them. Two of Cups, it's about romantic partnerships. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. It says that things are likely to be going really well and you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So you see them as the ideal partner. There's a harmony, there's a union there. There's a great connection, that's how you see them. And it's with the World card, it's about completion. So you can see them as... Needing to complete a cycle. Close the chapter of some book. Um, end a journey of something. Yeah, because the world card, like I said, it's about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, but just don't quit now because you're really close. You could be in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation, but don't, don't, don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Um, in terms of work, there's a good chance that you're working far too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to toot your own horn, just to make sure the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now that was an explanation of the world card, just in case you wanted to know more about it. But basically it's what I said before. It's about completion. Um, a cycle ending the end of a journey so that's how you see them looks like they need to maybe close out a chapter um, because you see them as the ideal partner this is a great connection here with this two of cups so let's take a look at why it's happening we got this knight of pentacles and the hangman the Knight of Pentacles, uh, someone looks like they want to rush in or, no, not rush, because the Knight is slow and steady. So, they do things right. <laughs> Let me correct myself. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. They do things right. They don't rush in and, and do nothing. They do everything as it should be. But someone wants to come in and, and reach out to you. They got something to say. There's a message. They might text you. They might call you. Um, you're likely to finally receive some type of news you've been waiting on. And it's good news. This is a very practical card. Practical card. Yeah, very practical. So, it's with this... This is with this hangman. Now, the hangman, it shows that... Um, Someone's at a crossroad, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea of what it is to do or how, it is, or how you should do it. And if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, 
Take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, things. Because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So this should be or could be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interests by being willing to change. So hangman is about letting go of something. Maybe attempts to control a situation because it's leaving you confused. Yeah, it's making you feel like you're at a crossroads, not sure which way to go, what to do. So you're stuck in your head and then someone wants to reach out in a very civil way. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture because I know it's kind of scattered here, but that's okay. I'll fix that. I'll, I'm going to give it to you uh, straight right now. Okay, so for the present time, Ten of Swords and Nine of Cups. So you're not trusting this slow and steady person that's coming in. I guess it's the person you're dealing with. You're not trusting them. They're coming in, though. They got something to say. They want to talk. And they're trying to do it the right way. Slow, they're coming in slow and steady, stable and very civilized. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is about. And we got this Nine of Cups, which is a wish card. So I'm picking up that um, this person could be a wish, Some, something that you wish for. Yeah, this connection is something that you, you probably wish for. But you're, you're just not trusting it. And they see you as the hierophant. They, um, they like that you're, you come across as really genuine. You don't play games. And they also see you as Ten of Cups. Like, um, yeah, they could want a family life with you. Um, uh, they, they see you as a dream come true. You see them as um, the ideal partner. But they need to close out a chapter. Maybe there is this person, Aries, is this person married and they need to um, close out that chapter? Is this person with someone else and they need to stop seeing them so that they can give you their time, all their time? They need to close out some cycle that they're in so that they could focus on the two of you. Because the Two of Cups, that's an ideal partnership. It's a union. It's a, it's a great love. And that's how you see them. And they see you as Ten of Cups, which is beautiful. And they like that. Like I said, they like that you're sincere as a higher fund. You don't play. And But they got the cycle. They got some, some chapter they need to close in their life. So that you two can enjoy this this romantic partnership, this this great love, and like I said, they're coming in slow and stable and civil, or that could be how you want them to to come towards you. But maybe they haven't done this yet because they need to clo close out something that they're dealing with or going through. They need to close it out so that they can focus on you and, and, and this. They can focus on you and them. So you're probably stuck in your head at times and you got trust issues. Yeah. So a lot of times you feel like the hangman. You're not sure should you stay, should you go? Up or down, yes or no? Because they haven't completed a cycle that they're in and they could be with someone else. That's what I'm picking up. Or some, some situation they're in that's unhealthy for this connection that causes you to feel like you can't trust the situation and then you're stuck in your head a lot of times with this hangman. So, 
that's what I got for you, Aries, for June. Yeah, good luck with your person. Um, it looks like a, a pretty good partnership, but uh, slow and steady. Uh, they could be trying to come in slow and steady. Or you could hope, be hoping they come in slow and steady and do things right and close out that chapter. And and um, that way you'll get stuck out of your head and you don't you won't have the trust issues. But for right now, it's just kind of open ended. I don't see I don't see anything really bad. You're just like at a crossroads with this person for now. Person for now. Person for now.